Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. For those who are new to the club, my name is Felicia. Hope you all are doing great and staying safe. I paid attention to your requests on Instagram when many of you asked me how is the life in Dubai and uh, I thought it's a subject that deserves a full video about my thoughts and my own experience on living here as a woman. So let's get started. I moved to Dubai almost four years ago. This was a very big step for me and big change in my life when moving in a new place, new country with different culture and religion without having any support and someone by my side. I came here on my own and started to get my life together from scratch after a very painful breakup. It was not easy, it was challenging but I was aware of it and I was sure that I will manage it because I was ready to step out from my comfort zone. If you are the same type as me, then it will work for you as well. What you should expect when you move here as a Western woman like me? Young, no family, no kids, but just a um, bachelor and master degree and the fitness background. First of all, you should forget about your mommy's yummy food, your cozy apartment and your lovely car. Once you move to Dubai, you gotta start everything from zero. But if you are a dedicated and independent person and like to achieve your goals by working hard and get everything by yourself, then Dubai is not the exception. My perception on achieving the goals that I was focused on is that I need to put in work every single day and be committed and responsible for my actions. How I started from zero? By renting a shared apartment, traveling by bus, traveling by metro, working as a personal trainer freelancer and this way trying to build my network and grow my Instagram. Again, with hard work and patience, year by year you progress until you get your own car, your own studio and you don't stop here. You keep working hard to achieve more by getting the car of your dreams next and aiming even for a bigger apartment, so why not? And in Dubai everything is possible because it's full of opportunities and that's what I like about it. You always grow and grow and grow. Western women living here in Dubai don't have to worry too much about uh, changing their waves of lifestyle. But even if Dubai is quite open-minded, it still has its own rules, regulations. So generally it's very safe as long as you respect the laws, uh, traditions and the culture. As when it comes to the dress code, there are no restrictions. You can still dress the same way as you used to in your home country. When you go to a bar, nightclub, lounge, hotel or beach and so on. You have freedom to wear whatever you want without being judged or stare that buy onlookers and I'm taking it as a luxury that me as a woman don't have back home however since it's an Islamic country some public places like shopping malls offices have sign boards warning about wearing a decent clothes Dubai is great for its weather and beautiful outside places where you can chill at pretty much all year long. Despite super hot weather in summer, Dubai has got many restaurants that have air conditioning outside so hot weather won't be an issue and it has also got the best winter weather with very pleasant mild sunshine that will make you spend your entire day outside or at the beach. If you're a club person, then again, you love Dubai for its most progressive mindset of all its neighbors. And I'm talking about a liberal attitude towards smoking, alcohol, biggest range of clubs, amazing entertainment and a vibrant nightlife. And of course, if you're a lady, you gotta get uh, free flowing drinks on those ladies' nights. More than that, if you are an Instagram influencer, there are many Dubai agencies that will offer you free dinners in luxury restaurants and free access to the hotel pools, gyms, beauty salon services and many many other exclusive 
benefits in exchange of posting content on your Instagram in order to promote those places. Another good thing that I experienced while living in Dubai as a woman is safety. It's one of the safest places in the world. Like I can travel late in the night alone and yes you're allowed to do it here. Whether it's 8 p.m., 1 a.m., 3 a.m., you can go out without having any fear. At least I never had any bad experience all these years. Our taxi drivers are extremely polite and you can even walk the entire way to your apartment. No kid calling, no whistling, no sexual harassing. No one can even dare harass or insult women as the police is very strict when it comes to such um, sensitive issues. But I think you still should be careful with whom you are going out and be very careful when dealing with males and try not to go into someone's home, hotel or room or car unless you know them very well. As in any other country, an extremely seductive behavior can also lead to unwanted consequences that need to be avoided. So the conclusion is Modesty, proper dress code and respectful behavior are keys to staying safe. Because remember, what woman wears and how she carries herself do matter on how others are perceiving her. Dubai has many designed places for women only and I mean public spaces, public transport where ladies can feel comfortable in their own space. Dubai metro and public buses have women and children, pin carriage and sitting area. Men within these areas are fined heavily. In the supermarkets while doing the groceries, the workers are always helping females with packing and with holding the bags. Women have priority almost everywhere here. Now let's talk about relationships. When coming to Dubai, a lot of people were saying to me that I shouldn't expect to get into a serious relationship here because, you know, it's Dubai. But to be honest, I don't know why people are blaming Dubai for not finding a genuine person to have a relationship with, when actually the problem is in the people and in their perceptions about it. They come to Dubai and once they see that luxury, that freedom of spending very nice time as a single man or a single woman, they don't really aim for getting into a genuine relationship. Well, because of listening to a lot of uh, single men and women um, stories in Dubai, I had the same idea stuck on my mind, that I will never get into a serious relationship here. More than that, I couldn't see myself having it with any other nationality than mine, because of culture misunderstanding, different way of thinking and so on. Surprisingly, I just got into it four months ago and it wasn't planned, it was so unexpected and guess what, he's not even the same nationality as me. We understand each other, we are on the same wavelength and we have same intentions and same life perceptions. So what I've learned is never say never. You can still come to Dubai and focus on making money and have a genuine relationship at the same time if you really want to. There is always a room for that kind of relationship in any part of the world. I can't say a lot about Arab men as I never got into a relationship with them, so I don't know how it is like dating a Muslim. But what I can say is that I've built some few nice friendships with them and I find them truly amazing human beings very friendly, hospitable and extremely respectful. People are asking me how much I miss my country and to be honest with you, I don't really miss it. I don't have anything left there but just my family, which I'm always looking forward to visit. Every time I'm going back home or travel anywhere else in the world, I always compare it to Dubai and I always start missing it after a while. What Dubai gives you, you can't really get anywhere else. It's a place with a different nationalities and different cultures. You meet many different people and make a lot of connections if you are very friendly and sociable. And you'll enjoy the interaction and learn their culture. You have the highest level of safety, you have respect, you have so many benefits as a lady. You can have the best life you can ever live in a place with skyscrapers and beach 
on the one side of Dubai and mountains, lake and desert on the other side of it. You are having the best weather and so many choices of entertainment, which will never make your life boring. That's all about my experience in Dubai as a woman. I hope that you really enjoyed this video and found some good advices for yourself. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and thank you so much guys for watching. Bye. 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 La la la.